Springs at the foot of Pike's Peak, where that song was actually written. My name is Stephen Barrett, and I'm a musician. Normally, I'd be singing something, but today I have some thoughts that I'd like to share. I'm also a Vietnam veteran. I earned the ribbons that are on this hat that I'm wearing. When I got out of the military, I protested against the war that I fought in because I didn't believe in it. A lot of us didn't. And because of that, I gave up the flag. I didn't give up the dream, but I gave up what I thought that flag stood for. And 50 years later, I have early stage Parkinson's because of exposure to Agent Orange in the Mekong Delta. So I clearly don't believe in everything that's been done in the name of that flag. But I do believe in the vision. I believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I believe that this flag belongs to each and every one of us. And over the last three plus years, I've watched in disbelief when an American president stood on a world stage and sided with Vladimir Putin over his own 14 intelligence agencies. I watched as crying babies were separated from their mother's arms by his decree. I watched as he first ignored and then downplayed this virus wasting precious months that could have saved so many of the lives that have been lost. But Lafayette Park blew my patriotic circus. To watch the American military, my military, using tear gas and rubber bullets to clear their peacefully protesting fellow Americans was gut-wrenching. You know what else I noticed? Only one American flag in the footage that I saw. And then it struck me. How different would it look if most of those demonstrators were carrying flags? That flag that represents the vision of toward a more perfect union. That we are all created equal. That every soul has nobility. These days, it seems like the word patriotism and our flag have been co-opted and claimed by certain groups. I believe that now is the time for us to reclaim our flag to show each other in the world that we still believe in each other, that we still believe in that imperfect dream. We are all Americans. Red, blue, right, left, black, white. What better symbol than the American flag to unite us after all that has been done to divide us? E pluribus unum, out of many, one. Now at my age, with my health conditions, I can't join the marchers, but I can do my part, which is to invite you to share this video and fly the flag. We are all being called to act, each and every one of us, in whatever ways we can. The tide is turning because demonstrating for equality is patriotism, not terrorism. Let's take back our flag and the dream that it stands for. It's time to take back our flag, the vision and the dream. 